Leaving your home port for exotic foreign waters may just be every boat owner's dream. We are on our way to Mexico, California's next door foreign destination. We started our voyage at Dana Point Harbor, about 50 miles south of Los Angeles. Dana Point is named for Richard Henry Dana, author of the 19th century seagoing classic, Two Years Before the Mass. Dana's merchant vessel anchored here after enduring many months of hardship sailing from New England. To make certain our voyage is much more pleasant than that one, we talked with experts, provisioned accordingly, and picked a really nice skipper, Dwayne Fitzgerald. He's a licensed 100-ton captain, very experienced in Mexican waters, and the owner of a beautiful new Riviera 40 named Shaka. Mexico's a big country with thousands of miles of shoreline. Our destination is Ensenada, the U.S. boater's first port of entry on the western coast, and the gateway to vast and varied cruising grounds to the south. Our old friend from Cast Off for Catalina, Bill McNeely, is a veteran boater in Mexican waters. That's part of what boating is all about, to cut free and sail off into the sunset. It's not exactly into the sunset, but the closest foreign country and truly foreign experience is Mexico. And the most wonderful part of Mexico in many ways for a boater is Ensenada, the northern part of Baja, California, it's a different language, different money, different customs, different everything. And if you haven't been there, you owe it to yourself to go see it. The way that a lot of people go to Ensenada for the first time is not by leaving San Diego, it's by leaving Newport Beach, California, a good ways further north. In fact, 125 miles from Ensenada, and that's in the annual Newport to Ensenada sailboat race. The Newport to Ensenada sailboat race has been held for over 50 years now, the last weekend in April or the first weekend in May. It's a 125 mile trip, off the weather all the way, very exciting with all the other boats and all the events going on in Ensenada when you get there. You'll sail all night and you will get there sometime, usually the second day of the race. The race starts on Friday, you'll get there sometime Saturday afternoon, something like that. It's a very scenic race, and it's the largest international sailboat race in the world in that there's more than one country involved, and there are usually over 500 boats involved. There's no other race going to a different country that has that many boats in it. Okay, we've calculated our fuel needs and now have more than enough on board for any eventuality. Next stop, Ensenada, more than 120 miles south. Mexico is a very beautiful country, and you owe it to yourself if you have a boat here on the West Coast to visit Mexico at least as far as Ensenada at least once and see what you think about it. Mexico further south is the jumping off point for cruising the whole world if you want to go there. Whether it's the mainland of Mexico, Central America, South America, the Pacific Islands, Tahiti, the Marquesas, Australia eventually, all of those places start with a trip to Mexico. You owe it to yourself to visit it at least once. You're going to find a friendly welcome, and if you're a friendly person, they're going to be very, very warm toward you.